Here we are for the third episode of Keep an Eye on It. Today, I get a bit personal and I show you five games that I would like to know more about. Since as of today to December, there isn't much news or details related to the gameplay. All the projects you find below are fantastic team based indie RPGs, at least for me. And perhaps the little news around the web will help to rise the hype. The world of samurai has always fascinated me, and in Tale of Running it seems to be very detailed and well done. We'll play a Ronin who will have to make choices and who can die permanently without ending the game. In fact, when our hero dies, we will take possession of another samurai, and the game world will keep going. Tomb based but simultaneous combat system, something that lately is often seen in video games and that I honestly do not mind. The Tale of Running Steam page lists 2021 as the release date, but for now all we can do is add it to the wishlist and wait. This is a tale of Ronin. This intrigues me and a lot. Ruined King is a tomb based game set in the world of League of Legends. Developed by Airship Syndicate, the guys from Battle Chaser and Darksider. There aren't a lot of details apart from a trailer, some concept art, the six heroes we can play, and the use of the lane initiative system. But what is the lane initiative system? Both the official website and the Steam page talk about a release date scheduled for early 2021. So maybe we won't have to wait long to start playing it on PC, Xbox, PS4, PS5 and Nintendo Switch. We Are The Plug by Forever Entertainment is a team based tactical reminiscent of a gameplay of Fire Emblem, but in a decidedly more serious and dark setting. In the game, we will play the role of a dying soldier who is restored in strength by the plug. Guided by the plug, we will have to be able to take revenge on the world and on all those who have hurt us. To tell the truth, there is also a demo. There has been a demo for a long time, but after that we haven't had any more news and believed that the game was initially to be released by the end of 2090. On the Steam discussion group, the developers have said they are on standby with development and are reviewing the mechanics, so sooner or later we are the plug will be released on PC. Another game with a truly inspired concept, Beast, developed by False Prophet and the Blood Moons is a team based strategy with choices that change the curse of the story, permadeath of the character, 15 playable and management of the war band. I imagine something like Banner Saga, but this is just my idea. There is a website where unfortunately there isn't any news and the Steam page with some nice writing says coming soon. We will wait and see. Right. 
right to fear the world. Game that has become a reference for many developers who have been inspired and continues to do so. So there is no need for an introduction and I think I'm not the only one waiting patiently for some more details. For now we only know that the combat system remains the same and there will be additions to the mechanics and visual presentation. In a tweet the developers said they were blown away by Darkest Dungeon 2 and that the team is working hard on the game. Darkest Dungeon 2 will be a PC game and almost certainly as happened for the predecessor will also arrive on consoles. We look forward to it. We have reached the end of my usual poorly video but with 5 fabulous team based RPGs at least for me for which we await some news and more details. I remind you to reach me on Twitter and on our Discord server, remember to check out the blog and my Twitch channel. See you at the next video, ciao!